Hello, this is Mike Gallagher. I'm superintendent of schools for Sunnyvale School District, and I'm going to be talking to you uh, just for a few minutes about Measure Y, a parcel tax measure that's up for renewal. That'll be on the November 5th, 2024 ballot here in Sunnyvale School District. So first of all, what is a parcel tax? A parcel tax is a form of tax that's placed um, or assessed on every property within um, a certain jurisdiction, in this case, within the Sunnyvale School District. So most people think of it in terms of every individual home would have, um, or actually currently has this parcel tax assessment. Um, apartment complexes might sit on one parcel, they might sit on one more than one parcel, um, but every parcel that's identified by the county assessor um, is currently in the, in the Sunnyvale School District assessed at $59 per parcel tax. And what this measure would do would be to continue that tax past the expiration of the current parcel tax, which is set to expire in June. So this would extend it for another eight years beginning in June 2025 and continuing until June 2033. So an eight year renewal, um, the parcel tax as it's currently devised and um, what we, uh, the Board of Education has um, designed for it to continue, supports classroom programs, keeps class sizes as small as possible. Um, it's designed to attract and retain quality teachers. And uh, as it says in the bottom bullet there, it's the same $59 per parcel rate um, as uh, the first parcel tax in the school district in 2011. We've done one renewal since then. And so this, again, this measure, Measure Y, would continue that parcel tax until 2033. Here is the text of the parcel tax. As it says at the top, um, it's only to be used for educational purposes outlined in the, um, the ballot language. This requires a two thirds or 66.66% uh, uh, yes vote in order to pass. And you can see here the language um, is uh, does, really describes what the intent of the parcel tax is and the purposes of it. So a couple of things about Sunnyvale School District. Um, we believe that we have high quality educators and staff um, and we do everything we can to support that resource. Our, we see our educators and staff as, uh, along with our students, of course, as the most valuable resource um, in the district and we support them. Um, we have a new strategic plan that really is focusing our efforts. Um, Sunnyvale School District is also consistently rated um, highly by Standard & Poor's and Moody's. Those are the rating agencies. We have the highest um, rating available by those agency of AAA. And our community has a long history of supporting our schools in Sunnyvale School District. Um, also, this slide shows you that over the years and over time, um, we have many local agencies, local nonprofits, and universities that have supported our schools in many other ways. And the parcel tax is another way um, that historically the community has supported Sunnyvale School District schools. So a little bit about the state budget st status, um, where we are in time right now. So you may have read about or heard about um, as we moved through COVID, there was a lot of one-time money designed for one-time purposes. And like other districts, Sunnyvale School District invested um, those dollars for intervention support and services for, for students um, and for a variety of ways of helping students, um, first of all, get through the pandemic and then to recover um, and help us recover from the pandemic. All those dollars are just about spent and they will be completely spent in the very near future. Um, also, Transitional Kindergarten is a new program that the state has mandated um, and that we've done a very good job, I think, in my opinion, of implementing in Sunnyvale School District. Um, but the state hasn't provided any funding at all, no dollars at all for Sunnyvale School District um, for Transitional Kindergarten. So that's an increased expense. And then also um, the growth of local revenue, which is how Sunnyvale School District is financed. Um, through the through property taxes is really slowing. So that's the, the budget picture for Sunnyvale School District um, currently. As you can see, this chart shows um, 
all the school districts in our county that have parcel taxes. Um, the highest is Palo Alto School District at $905 per parcel. And the lowest of the districts that have parcel taxes is Sunnyvale School District at $59 per parcel. So you can just kind of see here um, the range. There is a broad range. There are some districts that don't have parcel taxes. We've been fortunate um, since 2011 to have one, but we have um, been among the lowest and at this point in time, the lowest uh, parcel tax in the county. Um, so some people would ask, like, why, why is the district going out now? Like, one real reason for that is that the parcel tax is set to expire in June 2025, so next June. Um, so this is the um, actually the least expensive time to put it on the ballot. School districts, when they place a measure like this on the ballot, they actually have to pay for um, to place it on the ballot. So since there's so many other... Um, things on the ballot this November. It's gonna be a very busy ballot. Um, it's more efficient. Um, so basically that's the main reason, the, the two main reasons. One, where our current parcel tax is set to expire. So it's time to see if the community wants to continue to support the schools through a parcel tax. And number two, it's the most cost-effective way um, or cost-effective time to do it is in a November election. So finally, uh, just some summary about the November 5th election. Um, again, we need a two-thirds voter approval for passage of the parcel tax. Uh, the parcel tax exempts those who are at least 65 years old or who are disabled who own and reside in their own homes so they can get an exemption. Um, we can only spend the dollars on um, things that are outlined in the parcel tax, and we can't spend any of the dollars on district administration and certainly not for pensions. And um, in our school district, we have strict accountability from an independent oversight community, committee um, that reports to the Board of Education to be sure that we're only spending parcel tax dollars on those things that are outlined in the, uh, the ballot that the community would vote for. So again, if you have any um, factual information that you need about the parcel tax, we'll be ha happy to answer those. Um, if you just contact the school district, um, we'll be happy to, to, as I say, answer your questions that you have about the upcoming election and parcel tax. Thank you for listening and uh, hope you have a good day.